hey team lily welcome back to another video thank you so much for clicking if you are new hi my name is lillian to you my returning subscribers thank you for always coming back to watch my videos first off i want to appreciate everyone that have been suggesting hospitals they like me to take a look at hospitals that believe strongly i may be interested in today we are doing private hospital if you have not subscribed kindly hit the subscription button and ensure you on the bell notification so that anytime i upload a video youtube will notify you so i've been on the government owned hospitals for quite a while but today we are going private a little bit i want to show you what a private hospital in ghana looks like see in ghana when it comes to hospitals and schools it's two things and those things are go big or go home that's how it is done here because the government have set the standard so high as a private health investor you have got to be at the top of the game otherwise <laughs> nothing for you i think some of these private investors are aware of how it is here in ghana how the government is giving it like this so they are coming and coming big it is my pleasure to introduce to you luca health medical center located here in accra ghana this is why you come for medical tourism in ghana ghana is long overdue for all of this but before we talk long talk let's go to look ahead and come back with something as we have always done let's go <laughs> It's a new month and I want to wish you all a happy new month. It's your favorite gynecologist, Dr. Wanda Maya. And I'm back again with another video. Like I said, the revolution is happening. It's time to make Africa home again. I've been telling you what the returnees are doing here in Ghana. As a general surgeon at Luca Health, I deal with uh, various conditions, mostly it's a hernia, gallbladders, could be thyroid, could be breast surgery. Uh, we, we not only provide in surgical treatment, but we also diagnose uh, different conditions here at Luca Health and we provide comprehensive consultation for, for this condition. I treat men, women and kids. And what does it make unique? my speciality and my position here at Luca Health as a general surgeon that I am able to perform surgery is in open fashion and laparoscopic fashion which is minimally invasive it's a keyhole procedure if anybody has any uh, surgical problem surgical issues you're most welcome to come by Luca Health and we will provide you with the comprehensive care and diagnostics and treatment the doctors have said it all these are the things they deal with here and you can also find this in Ghana so but what sets the private hospitals in Ghana apart from the public and why why I strongly believe they still have a market in Ghana and still need more investors is time one thing I've observed is if you the reason the health I mean the private hospitals are doing well in Ghana is because of time because the government offers you everything that the private hospitals offers you but one thing that you may struggle with at the government owned hospitals in Ghana is time just like any other place I think even advanced countries in the West may be dealing with this as well so in Ghana personally the last time I took my daughter to the hospital I spent a whopping four hours yeah i'm not like a spoiled brat because i live in ghana now and i'm getting accustomed to so many things how things are done here we have high expectations you know we want the government to give us this uh, sometimes when we don't get that we complain so for me i spent four whole hours yeah that's nothing but compared to the lifestyles in ghana how we expect things to be done is we want it faster than that so if you do not have time to spend the private hospitals get you covered at luca health to create uh, a medical surgical specialty you know center with the type of investment and commitment that we were talking about, 
was truly going to be an opportunity to do something transformational. So that's what motivated me to kind of leave the states and come here. And I've been living here like the last four years. So for us, um, I'll give you an example. Yeah. We don't, in Africa, there isn't a lot of uh, outpatient surgery center. I mean outpatient means you come in for surgery the same day and you leave the same day. Wow. You don't stay for a week, you don't stay for two weeks, you don't stay for a day, you go home the same day. We don't have that in Africa. And um, that's what we've brought here. And that's my specialty. I love outpatient surgery because when I give anesthesia, I make sure that our patients leave the same day. So that's something that, you know, I feel like if we bring that into our um, community, mm. our practice here, it will change everything. You know, we've got a lot of, especially Nigerian doctors, mm -hmm. African doctors out there. Yes. 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 I mean, then, the, you know, we're trying to change that narrative, right? Thank you. Because a lot of Africans leave here, go to the UK, go to the US, the US go to India to seek medical care. Mm -hmm. You know, those are things that they don't have to do. Be yeah. Because what we're happens, here. we are here, we brought those skills, we're doing minimal invasive procedures. Ooh. So the good thing about that is, if they go out there, they have to pay for a flight, they have to pay for a hot hotel, then the aftercare is not that adequate because they go in and do a procedure, then they come back to, to Africa. Ooh. So who flew up? There's that disconnect. Mm -hmm. The surgeon in the West, there's no communication with the surgeon here or the physician here that is following up on the, on the patient. Oh. But what really uh, excites me about being here is how passionate the Ghanaian people are about what's going on in the United States. Right, so if you look at that, you basically say, in Africa, all right, so you know time and money are the same. Now, the four hours I spent at the hospital with my daughter was not to wait as see the doctor, okay? I mean, from the time I arrived at the hospital till the time I got attended to and left the hospital with my well taken care of child. Case closed. So, if you do not have four hours to give, your case might be different. And the reason for that is because there are so many people lining up before me they got there before me and it's because it's a first come first serve situation so other people were there before me so by the time i got there i had no choice but to join the queue so it delayed that much now let me break it down for you for proper understanding the four hours should we go to look at and take a look at everything and come back and talk about this <laughs> interventions and taking use of our telemedicine partnership with the New York University School of Medicine. Our clinical and nursing team is dedicated to providing patients in Ghana with the same high-quality specialist treatment, same-day surgical interventions, and cutting-edge diagnostics that they may find in the United States, the United Kingdom, and South Africa. In West Africa, we at Luca Health are dedicated to making sure patients get the treatment their doctors recommend without having to wait or travel elsewhere. Top surgeons and doctors from the US, EU, and Ghana are drawn to Luca Health's world-class medical center, which combines their specialized knowledge with cutting-edge medical technology. We are able to provide some of the greatest medical treatment in Africa thanks to this. Modern techniques, such as minimally invasive surgery, our procedures frequently require less time and allow for a quicker recovery. The search was limited to Ghana, Tanzania, and Kenya in West Africa and East Africa, respectively. So let's finish this. So the four hours I spent, let me break it down how I spent my time at the hospital so on getting to the hospital I'm submitting my card in making payments five cd please for the payment to say doctor because my child has health insurance i would have paid 40 cities but ended up paying five ghana cities so i joined the queue and waited for vital signs to be checked by the time the vital signs were done checking i queued to see the doctor because there were others before me by the time i saw the doctor she sent me 
to the emergency hall to go for, for oxygen for my daughter because she was having difficulty in breathing. They needed to stabilize her breathing. So I was given something to go to the pharmacy, buy it and go to the emergency hall so they can fix that. It's just something you inject it into something. Medical experts in the building <laughs> helped me down there at the comment section. So the first one, the first dose was given to the child and then after the first i was i waited for 30 minutes to commence the second dose and after that i went back to see the doctor and then she checked the child's breathing and then she sent me back to the pharmacy to get the final medication that we would take home so that was how my four precious hours went just like that so at the private hospital you can spend maybe like an hour because everything is fast 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 do you understand but money and time is right there in front of you and you know how important those two are so you choose how you want to do it if you want to spend money to save time the private hospitals got you and of course if you want to spend time and save your money like me middle class people join me on the queue at the government hospital otherwise there are no issues <laughs> they give you the same thing that you find at the private but fine let's keep all of that aside and talk, and talk about how tastefully furnished this hospital is i mean this private hospital is yeah from the from the building to you've seen the building you've met the doctor they you can look at health i think is our treatment philosophy i think we're a dedicated group of physicians and nurses and our main goal is to provide uh, up-to-date and evidence-based medical service here to this community. I'm Dr. George Haramis and I'm urologist and minimal invasive surgeon at Luca Health Medical and Specialty Center. And uh, I can see also in my patients' faces when I explain them this kind of technology that are equally excited as I am because we share the same passion and uh, I believe that the less we cut and the, the faster the patient returns back to their activities and back to, to their work. I think it's a big win for us and that proves that medicine has to offer a lot in this community and we're really excited to be here. Nowadays, most people, this is what we're looking for from us and uh, I'm really excited that I can provide a service like that here in, in my community in, in Ghana. That proves that medicine has to offer a lot in this community and we're really excited to be here. While you are receiving treatment, medical attention, you get luxury. Seriously, I will not stop talking about this until Ghana is made one of the best countries to retire to in the world. I won't stop. I'm going to be on this mission and it's something I want to do because I feel like Ghana is way underrated. I mean, this is just a few of the many private hospitals in Ghana and last month I reacted to St. Michael you may want to check that out let me link the video here check it out okay and see how it is they are so advanced with healthcare service in Ghana so you have variety of option to choose from the private or the, the the government they are both coming head in head against each other later in the video we are going to talk about how the health insurance work but let's talk about how tastefully furnished luca health is it is giving the seven star vibes it is giving everything you will get abroad it's giving everything you will get in a European hospital or an American hospital in America. This is like a taste of America in here, right here in Africa. What are you worried of? The white doctors, the white nurses? We have all of that, especially the white nurses in public hospitals in Ghana. And these are the healthy competition I want to see among. This is the only way I want to brag about rich people of my country, people that are giving back to the society. I once made a tweet on Facebook about Dangote that if I go to heaven and I do not see Dangote there, I am going to raise a protest. Yeah, dear Lord, I'm sorry, but I'm that kind of person. I feel like he has done more for the people than the most celebrated rich people around in in my country because we have dangote cement we have dangote so many things so the same thing with private health investors i appreciate them a lot they give back to the society through the health care system by employing our our nurses and doctors and also by giving treatment to keep you alive keep you well 
because health of course is a wealth so let me know if you're coming to ghana yeah you should come to ghana i don't want to know at the comment section because these are private conversations and if you want to have your child in ghana now that i'm done showing you how luca health medical center looks like in ghana let's talk about how the health insurance scheme in ghana works especially if you're not ghanaian for every ghanaian i think you already know and registering for this is the easiest thing to do in ghana almost every member of my household already has health insurance in ghana and this is how it works if you are living in ghana or you are looking to move to ghana first thing you should do is go register for your non-citizenship card when you come to ghana and you want to stay here go register for your non-citizen card with that you can join the health insurance scheme in ghana and it will benefit you a lot but if you are a pregnant woman regardless of your status in the country they wouldn't be interested in your status in the country the first thing they want to do is get you registered into the health insurance scheme and get you enrolled and have you deliver your baby for almost nothing cesarean section may cost between 200 cities to 400 cities that's between 20 to 40 us dollars i mean cesarean section so if you have like a, like natural beds you end up spending almost nothing like as good as nothing you may spend below you may spend between five to ten us dollars all right at the government owned hospitals especially poly clinics and you have all the best hands on decks if you go to the polyclinics they will check you if there's anything they are not sure they are going to refer you to a hospital and they give you a choice choose the hospital of your choice and you have variety of choices to choose from except if your case is a case that needs referral you can be referred to pacific hospitals in ghana and this hospitals cost almost nothing because of the health insurance the health care system and the schools here and the security is on point so many other things i'm really i have not really done the banking in ghana but soon i'll check that out so now if you're not pregnant and you want to register for the health insurance you need non-citizenship and all your underage children can get the health insurance under you except if your kids are above the age of 18 that way they have to get their ghana card and register for their own for their own health insurance i hope that this video is helpful and that you patronize it here quietly you come you don't have all these things you just come you patronize you pay you go back nobody will know your medical records are very very uh, private they remain private instead of going abroad to spend exorbitant amounts welcome to ghana and i will see you in my next one bye